this is an ice art display and they're actually not sculptures and the process to make them is we get the artists to create their piece of art on a, a, a piece of mylar which is a thin plastic and it's about 20 by 40 inches and they create it using paint and or oil based markers. Then we take those pieces of art and they, we roll them up together in a tube, in a batch, and we ship them off to a place in Hensel, Ontario. It's a company called Ice Culture. And they freeze, they take these pieces of art and they stretch them out and they put them in vats and freeze them over several days using a very slow process and running water. And that's how they get crystal clear. And then the ice, art is shipped back to us in boxes and they arrive on pallets. They're 300 pounds each. The idea for this project kind of popped into my head after talking to my wife. Uh, last year she was walking with some of her friends downtown in Kingston and at night it was very dark and after Christmas uh, I said to, to my wife it's too bad it's kind of depressing because all the lights are in and it's just you know you know, February is very dark, right? So I said it would be too, it would be really nice if we had an outdoor art exhibit. And she said, well, you really can't do that because they would get vandalized. And I said, well, maybe if you froze the art, it wouldn't get vandalized. And so I started looking into this and I found a company that froze stuff in art, but usually what they did was froze logos. This has never been done before. Uh, it, apparently, I think all over North America it hasn't been done. That Kingston seems the only place where we're doing it. This project, this ice art display called Fuera, helps promote business, uh, the downtown businesses uh, in Kingston. And that was also one of the major goals of this. As a lifelong resident and a big promoter of the downtown, um, I felt it was important to uh, find some way to create a, a, an attraction, some kind of excitement uh, in downtown, especially around the time when things generally take a bit of a downturn. Right after Christmas, things taper off, and this sort of injects a little bit of uh, color and excitement. Gives people a chance to see something really interesting. Uh, because the ice um, blocks are sitting on pallets covered with snow, but under, underneath the ice block, there are rope lights, so they glow in the dark and they illuminate the entire, the entire front lawn of the businesses uh, downtown. So it's, a, it's quite a neat display.